Hey there, my name's Drew Brashler, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the brand new library page of the Behringer Wing that was released with Firmware 2.0. Now, if you're brand new to my channel, I'm all about helping you feel more confident with your production gear, no matter where you're starting from. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, like I was saying, the Behringer Wing has a new Firmware 2.0 that is now released that you should download and install. If you haven't already, make sure to go to behringer.com slash downloads. You can type in Wing and then you can can download the most recent firmware. So this video is going to be good for any firmwares past 2.0 and above. But the new firmware 2.0 has released a function that gives us show control, which means that we can now save file presets on our channels. We can save scenes. We can even save a show to gather all of these things together. And there's also a brand new version of snippets and a very cool way of recording those. And I'll show those to you in these following videos here. So the first thing that I wanna show you is where the library page is. And you can just go ahead and press library on your screen. And we now have our library page. So the left-hand side is going to be our file browser. And our right-hand side is going to be navigating on these different pages. So we have show, we have snapshot, we have snippets, we have clips, effects presets, and channel presets. Now, on the show tab, this is where we can gather together multiple things. So we can gather together snapshots, snippets, and clips into this one single show, and then just use the go next or go to be able to transition between all of our different snapshots and snippets in this show. Our snapshot window gives us the ability of saving everything on the Behringer wing at once. So when you save a snapshot, it takes a picture of the entire board, all the parameters, all the settings, all the channels, everything. And then you can load that at a later time. We can actually go and update the recall settings of that snapshot. And then when we load, we can only have to select certain portions of the board. So maybe we only want the faders to load for all of our channels. That's an option. Now our snippets gives us the ability of loading individual items at once. So I can go and press record and change a bunch of things on my board. It could be as simple as a fader movement, or it could be as complex as changing thresholds on multiple channels on the compressor. Either way, we can press record, do that, press finish, and that will then save what's called a snippet. And when you go load a snippet, it's not going to load everything on the board like a snapshot would. It's going to load only individual things that you want to have updated instead of that big snapshot. Now, Clips gives us the ability of playing back clips that we have recorded to a USB drive, like this thumb drive right here. We can just take this USB drive, put it in the console. We can then record using the built-in USB recorder, and then we can play back those files in our show by loading these clips into it. Now, on the effects, this gives us the ability of saving an effects preset. And the very last thing is our channel presets. And this is a shameless plug here. I have released a set of channel presets for your Behringer wing. And so you can go over to my website at drewbrashler.com, purchase those, download them, put them on your console, and then you can actually load channel presets for a bunch of different microphones for a bunch of different sources. So we can go and navigate through our file browser here, and we can go open up my channel presets, and we can see that there is a scroll knob here. So we can actually go and scroll through all of the different presets here. So I have a bunch of presets for acoustic, saxophone, bass, choir, drums, including multiple different types of microphones. We then get into electric guitars, percussion, keys, podium, speech, more saxophones and brass, and then to all of our vocal microphones. And that is all there. Additionally, you can click into emulations, and I have put in a bunch of emulations. For instance, the BDX902 de -esser. We can go 
in here and we can see that there's a bunch of different things. Or for instance, the even 88, which is a emulation of the Neve, we can see that there's a bunch of different compressor, EQ and gate settings for the emulations on the board. Now to quickly show you how we would load this, we can go and select an empty channel. For instance, I'm going to select 33 and then I'm just going to simply choose what I want to load here. So maybe I want my acoustic guitar DI. I would set select this and then I would press load and this is going to load to channel 33. And then we can then go look at everything on this channel. So we can see that I have some gate settings and some EQ settings. Well, maybe on channel 29, I have my kick drum. So I can go scroll down to drums, put my kick in as the E901, press load, and then go to my channel two, which is giving me my kick out and we'll do the Sennheiser E902. Then we have our snare drum. And maybe an overhead. That's as simple as it is for loading these channel presets. Now, if I was wanting to save a channel preset, it's very simple. So let's go ahead and go to an empty channel here. And I'm just going to make a bunch of random settings here. And on my compressor, I'll go and select the, my soul bus comp. All right, so we've made some really weird settings here on this channel. Now I can go as far as to save everything on this channel, including inserts, and we can even set our bus sends and save those. Now, once we have made something that we want, we can then go back to our library page and we can navigate to an area that we want to save this file. And so we could go back into my, uh, my base show right here and I can just go ahead and press save. So once I have my channel selected, I can now press save and we're just going to title this test. And then we can scroll down and see that right here is a channel preset. Now, if I was wanting to load this and not include all of the fader movements for my bus sends, we can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and select channel 26. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to click sends and I'm going to press none. So that's not going to affect any of my sends on this particular channel. I can then go ahead and press load and we can go and select home and see my settings here. So we can see gate and my weird EQ and my weird compressor settings and all of those are saved. However, none of my bus sends have been affected. Here's the original that we saved and here is the one that we loaded. Now going back to our library page, the file browser gives us the ability of reading our USB drive as well. So I have plugged in a USB drive up here and I can go ahead and simply select this. Now with the file browser gives us the ability of creating folders and renaming files. So if we wanted to create a folder, I can go ahead and do this and I'm going to call this wing show and we can create. And so we can now see that in my wing show and I actually misspelled this. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this and I'm going to add that I back in here so we can actually spell wing. So we now have wing show and I can go into this. And at this point I can go and start saving things to my USB drive. So for instance, if I was wanting to create a show, I can simply go and press create and I'm going to title this show start one and we can create this now it has made another icon up here on our file browser so now we have internal we have our usb and then we have our show and so now if we wanted to go and actually add some things into this show we could go and do that so i'm going to go ahead and get my mix set and we have vocal one as our lead and we have my drums here that looks good. Okay, so I am going to save this as a snapshot. So I'm gonna go ahead and select snapshot. I'm going to press save plus add because if I press this, this is going to save this and add it to our show. And so I'm going to call this start one. So this is my first song. We can see this snapshot here. Now, if I had my song two and maybe my 
third vocal was leading this song, but not my first vocal. I could, all, I could save a snapshot or I can utilize my snippets. So we can simply select our snippets, press record, and at this point, any changes that I make to the board are going to be saved in this snippet. So I'm going to turn down my vocal one, and I'm going to turn up my vocal three, and I'm gonna get this mix here. So we can see that I have adjusted these four faders. Now, we can also see that I have recorded four parameters. Once I've set all the parameters that I wanna change, I can press stop. And at this point, now I can press save plus add, and I'm going to call this vo song two. Okay, so we have our snapshot, which if I press go, is going to load everything on the board. Now, if I select song two and press go, then all that it's going to do is just change the fader positions of these four faders. And I can also prove that by moving my faders here. So I'm gonna turn down my tracks and synth and turn up my keys. So I'm mixing these live, but all I wanna have done is to load this next snippet. I'm gonna press go, and we can see that only these four faders moved. My keys stayed in the same position up here. My tracks and synth also stayed in the same position, turned down. Now, once I'm happy with the things that I've recorded into this show, I can actually go save that. So I'm gonna go back to my show, and I'm just going to press save. And that now has saved that show. Remember, we placed this on my USB drive. We can see that that show is now saved right here. The other thing that I wanna mention is the folder that you create that show is where all of your snapshots, snippets, and presets that you save into the show are going to locate themselves on your USB drive. So we can see that I have my start one as a snapshot and my song two as a snippet, both in this folder. Now, another thing to mention about our file browser is that there is now an add button up here. And so if I was wanting to add a snapshot or a snippet into my show that I currently have loaded, all I would have to do is go and select the one that I want to load and I can press add. And then that will actually add it into my show. So we can see what we have start one, song two, and back to start one, which is a snapshot. So you can utilize this for a lot of different things. Now, I'm going to be releasing a bunch of dedicated videos over the next couple weeks for all of these different portions because there's a lot to cover in each of these things. So I hope you stay tuned over the next couple weeks for learning about all these different sections. But I hope this overview was helpful for you today. If you do happen to have any questions or have some videos that you're hoping that I would make, make sure to pop that down in the comment section down below as I'm always reading through those comments to find videos that are gonna be helpful for you. If you haven't already, make sure to check out my website at drewbrashler.com, again, where I have my Behringer library that I've made for the wing on the channels that I have for sale over there. So make sure to hop over there and check that out. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day.